What's going on guys, it's Omni Arkins. Today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about something actually kind of serious. I know a lot of my videos lately have been things that either you guys request or that you want or something that I think would just be funny and entertaining, uh, but today I want to talk to you about a topic that affects you and me and everybody on YouTube in general. So as you guys probably have heard um, from many different people, there have been certain uh, restrictions put on very, very large YouTube channels as far as monetization goes. Uh, monetization, I don't know why I said that weird. People, you know, like Philip DeFranco just made a video about this. I know Mr. Repsion actually also had uh, something like this happen to him. Uh, and there's tons of other bigger YouTubers that have been talking about this. And basically, what's been happening is a ton of their older videos have been getting flagged for content that... I guess is not advertiser friendly, that's what they say. And what's happening is they're removing monetization from dozens of videos from these large creators and turning off the uh, monetization for them. Basically what this means uh, is that YouTube now has the power to censor what gets monetized on their platform. and. While this isn't technically a form of censorship because you can say whatever you want on the platform, basically, you know, as long as it's not hate speech or violent or whatever, um, but you can do, you could say pretty much whatever, you can cover any topics and talk about whatever you, you want, um, but if the topic is something that might be considered too harsh or not advertiser friendly, uh, YouTube reserves the right to remove monetization from that video, uh, and that really, really, really impacts the community in a massive way. Basically. YouTube is just saying, hey, look, we can now police what gets monetized on our platform, and what that in turn is going to do uh, is going to make it so larger content creators aren't going to make the content that they want to make, you know, and the reason for that is because it seems to be that the requirements and restrictions that are being placed on channels for this type of content is very, very strict. Uh, Philip DeFranco has many videos that he pointed out that were uh, labeled not ad friendly uh, and basically the videos had no type of content that was um, bad or you know just seen as a negative way the only bad thing that was in his videos are the stories that he talks about and censoring that is ridiculous I mean if you turn on Fox News or any other you know large news channel or news network you're going to see disastrous things you know killing shootings terrorism uh, natural disasters you know all sorts of terrible things um, and so now YouTube is going to basically be censoring all of those things that you normally would see on television so YouTube is actually becoming uh, and more uh, I guess you know, more censored than actual television, and actual television is already really censored. And again, this is a roundabout way of censoring, right? They're not they're not shutting down these channels, they're not removing these videos. What they're doing though is removing the ad revenue. So creators who focus primarily on YouTube as a job, who, you know, make money and make their living off of creating YouTube videos, aren't going to be able to do that if all of their videos don't have ads on them. So basically what they're going to do is make videos that can have ads on them. And because the restrictions that YouTube is placing are so strict, like I said, you know, a bunch of Philip DeFranco's videos didn't show anything violent or graphic or disgusting or anything, um, along with Mr. Repsion as well. I've, I've watched Mr. Repsion for years now, and I know the type of content that he makes uh, and they are not in any way like remotely close to you know something that should be taken uh, you know that seriously you know to have content creators like this get as many of these strikes or not strikes but you know flags as they've gotten you know uh, any regular guy can get these as well so like I said while they're not taking these videos down what they are doing is making so that way people who make a living on YouTube aren't gonna talk about anything that's even remotely close to uh, dangerous or violent or offensive or harassing or anything like that uh, because of you know for fear of them having the ad revenue removed and that is a big deal you know that really does affect YouTube and that affects us as viewers and you know content creators in general I personally think this is a huge 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 problem um, something that YouTube seriously needs to reconsider because the greatest part about YouTube is being able to come to this platform and discuss any 
anything that you want and that can be something as stupid and pointless uh, and dumb and childish as the next Call of Duty game or you can use it to seriously uh, spread awareness on the hatred that certain you know demographics might you know uh, face such as women or gay people or people of color or anything like that you know and people aren't going to spread those types of videos anymore because they might think okay well if I you know quote somebody saying a racial slur or if I quote an article that says uh, you know uh, some sort of homophobic slur that might not be seen as ad friendly and thus the video will get the ad revenue removed and thus nobody will make those videos uh, or at least in as many numbers and as high of quantity so you know this is a huge 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 deal for YouTube because they are damaging the creativity uh, of the users on this platform and also they're basically censoring intelligent commentary I mean you can basically have very constructive uh, discussions and spread good ideas through videos like that and now they're basically saying yeah we don't want any of that that's, uh, you know, if it's not something that's rated G, we don't want it on our platform, uh, and that is a huge mistake. You're missing out on most demographics by doing that, and, uh, you know, it, unless you want a ton of Minecrafters just talking about, uh, you know, fluff uh, marshmallows and fucking rainbows you know uh, that's all your, your platform is going to be if you start taking all of the money away from all the serious topics and real things that need to be discussed now I will say if someone posts a video uh, you know 30 minutes of them banging hookers in Grand Theft Auto 5 oh! And, you know, YouTube says, ah, you know, I don't really think this is appropriate for our advertisers. Uh, we're going to remove the ad revenue. You know what? Fine. You know, would that be messed up? Sure. You know, but, uh, you know, to have them remove it from someone like Philip DeFranco, who's been on this website as long as it's been around uh, and as successful as him and as genuine and as good as he is, you know, uh, I can't imagine the type of content that's going to start to lose ad revenue and from there it's a slippery slope downwards for YouTube as far as you know the type of content that gets put on here what gets popular what people start doing and what people stop doing and overall um, all this is doing the bottom line really what it is doing is limiting creativity that's really what it is I mean you know uh, that's what's going to end up happening whether you agree with YouTube or disagree with YouTube whether they continue to do this or whatever or whether whether they have good reasons or shitty reasons it doesn't matter at the end of the day if you you start removing money from thousands and thousands of creators and saying we don't like this specific thing that you're doing um, they're gonna just either stop making content or everybody's gonna have to make such filtered uh, like heavily censored content that it's just not gonna be good so you know this is a terrible terrible thing I really hope YouTube wakes up realizes that YouTube is not in a bubble they can't protect themselves from the internet the internet is the way it is people are going to behave how they behave the way I look at it is YouTube has gone from a nothing of a website to one of the most giant websites on the entire internet um, it is global millions and millions of users use it every single day it is a Google company uh, and at the end of the day it never would have got there if it weren't for the content that the users create and to basically step in now after years of growth and success and say we're going to do something drastically different uh, is shooting yourself in the foot because you're basically removing the creativity and the power from the creators that got you to where you are today um, and that's just that's insane to think that you would want to limit the creators that put your platform where it is today I mean you know what you've been doing so far has given you very very strong growth over the years uh, and to basically say yeah we're gonna we're gonna stop uh, one of those we're gonna just change everything and do stuff different it's really dumb and it's only it can only hurt you the, there's nothing that you can gain from doing this um, less ads are going to play uh, in uh, by a lot you know tons and tons of videos are gonna have no ads um, advertisers aren't they might not even want to put ads on your website because they're gonna be like oh well it's only gonna hit this specific demographic that only watches g-rated content and you know we're trying to sell Grand Theft Auto so we're not gonna put ads on there because only seven-year-olds are gonna see it and they can't legally buy the game you know that's just one quick example that I came up with but there's gonna be you know plenty of people who are like well you know we can't we're trying to target leafy's demographic and all of his videos are now you know not showing ads because he's offensive so what are we supposed to do 
overall, YouTube is very stupid for doing this. In my opinion, you know, we'll see down the road if they continue to be successful with this. Um, if I were to be a betting man, I would say that this isn't going to continue because uh, once more and more creators start getting these hits, um, there's going to be a massive community backlash and they're going to realize how stupid they are for even attempting to do this. Um, whoever thought this was a good idea, you might want to start looking for a new job. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's really, I can't believe that, uh, you know, a platform called YouTube, which is basically means you tube it is your channel what you want to do what you want to upload it's all about the creators and all about you uh, basically they are deciding yeah we're gonna censor you it's stupid and I can't believe that they are going to try and do that so you know again terrible for the community terrible for creativity terrible for the creators terrible for the content consumers like you guys and overall you know this is going to be a very uh, detrimental thing for the platform I can guarantee you that and hopefully uh, they come to their senses sooner than later and stop doing stupid shit like this uh, so anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a thumbs up if you maybe learned something or didn't know about this or whatever hopefully again like I said you'll drop a like rating because that really does help me if you'll uh, share the video that would be amazing Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Comment down below telling me what you think about these new to new YouTube policy changes. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch, and I will talk to you later. Peace.